Every major sports league in the country is calling a timeout. The tournament has been canceled. We're talking about the NBA, the NHL, MLB, NASCAR, PGA, and much more. Hearts are with seniors walking away from their final seasons. One of many districts in states across the country that sent students home. High school stadiums are silent. No practice, no games, no championships to compete for. Coaches are at home instead of the sidelines. But athletic trainers have found a new field as the frontline workers of COVID-19. Being able to adapt quickly is something that is not completely foreign to the athletic trainers. Currently seven high school athletic trainers from the Holland and Zeeland area are working the drive through testing center at the hospital. Virtual athletic trainer video blog. We want to bring you valuable educational information that we would normally talk to you about in the athletic training room, but now we're going to social platforms to bring the information right to your home. As a committee, we want to give students a platform to have our voices be heard. So I want to talk to you today about peer-to-peer -peer support following a crisis and COVID fits that to a T. We need to figure out how to deal with it, how to live with it, how to manage it. Okay, but understand we're all in this together. Okay, understand we can and we will get through this if we work together as a team. But athletic trainers are healthcare professionals endorsed by the American Medical Association. We specialize in injury prevention, clinical diagnosis, and rehabilitation. I am a healthcare provider, and I believe athletic trainers may hold the answers, or rather, the questions, for a healthier nation. Greetings, everyone. This is Dave Sadler. I'm the executive director of NATA, and doing my part to say thank you to our members during Membership Appreciation Week. And if you'll indulge me for a second, I'd love to show you something that's in our office. What you're seeing here is a credential and a jacket from our member ATs who were involved in the Boston Marathon and the unfortunate bombing that took place. Uh, this jacket was given to uh, past president Jim Thornton and he graciously donated it to all of you, our members, the association. I encourage all of you to look at your uh, NATA news archives and read about that time uh, because it really was extraordinary. It was a microcosm of what our members do on a daily basis and a, kind of a snapshot in a really dramatic way of going toward the danger, going toward the unknown, going toward the need and the risk and going toward the suffering to help. And I think what we're seeing now in this time since March and COVID hit is that in a similar way and, and how our members responded by being parts of their communities on the, on the front lines, but also particularly now in their daily role in policy development, implementation and compliance as their patient populations and their student athletes return to sport and to work and to life. And so it's a really admirable thing. Uh, we're really proud of all of you. We thank you for going above and beyond to protect all of those who are important to us. And we just want to say thank you and we appreciate you. And as our president, Tori Lindley says, thrive on NATA. Thank you for all you do, and thank you for being a member of NATA. Thank you. It's truly an honor to be on Team NATA and to work on behalf of the athletic training profession. Thank you for all you do. And thank you for being a member of NATA.